Hello everyone. This is my latest L3 Waxy Wonders haul. I got the pre-order scent shots that were $1.50 each and then I also got two custom scoops. I wanted to get more but I didn't have enough money and I definitely I need more. <laughs> so let's get started. I have my sample bag and right now she has pre-order clams for the Little Mermaid and Power Rangers plus custom doggy bags which is 10 ounces of wax for $10 or 20 ounces of wax for $20 so and she also has a um, a donate it's a clam that she donates a dollar of the proceeds and it's this time it's for the ACLU and it has an awesome name and it sounds pretty good so if you would like to donate against hate then buy away so here's my order I got daydreaming which is sweet lavender peach cobbler and cotton candy Thanks. not doing very well on the lighting situation right now let's see if I got that better better that way it or not at all who knows? Who knows? That's also extremely precarious. <laughs> so uh, you probably can't read that. I'm like trying to trying to figure out if I cover it, do you think? Anyway, and it definitely has lavender. I'm not sure how sweet it is. And I can't really smell the peach. I can smell a little bit more on the bottom, but I'm not super excited about this one at the moment, but I also have like a migraine coming, so scents on the whole aren't automatically the bestest idea that I've ever had, so. And next up is Through Dangers Untold, which is Southern Sunshine Pineapple Strawberry. And I just remember that I didn't show you the samples, you're welcome. <laughs> So I was like, can you see this? Ah, whatever. <laughs> this one smells really good. You can smell that pineapple. It's like a fresh pineapple. And you can smell um, like the orange and stuff like that. But it's, it's very um, tropical. So if you want like a tropical one, that one would be a really good one to get. I'll show you the samples. <laughs> I also have this one in a scent shot and they're both Faithful Handyman. So Faithful Handyman is, this scent is a little bit nutty just like Riff Raff, banana nut bread zucchini. And that just sounded really good. So at least come two little rosettes for the sample. Oh, it's nutty, but it's sweet. And you can smell that banana. It's kind of like a candied banana, you know, like a maybe a Laffy Taffy kind of banana, but then it has that zucchini bread and the nuttiness. That one is really good. I'm glad I got a sample of it too. That's those two guys. Next sample is Seattle Rain in a little candy shape. And it smells good, it smells fresh. I'm not a fresh person, so you know, it's not gonna be my jam. I apologize for my nails. I forgot to take the nail polish off. <laughs> Frosted lime cupcakes. This one smells really good. You can definitely smell the lime and the cupcake. The lime is almost cleaner but not so that one's really good next up is a mishap so when she was typing up on the um, online she had hot cocoa as listed in the drop down bar but on the actual scent list of what she was giving out it was hot cocoa coffee bean raspberry so she decided to give everyone hot cocoa and the hot cocoa and coffee one just in case they were hoping for one and they didn't get it. So this is hot cocoa and it smells 
delicious. It smells like chocolate, but it's a little bit creamy, a little bit rich, so it's not like just straight chocolate. It smells actually really good. Then the hot cocoa coffee bean raspberry. And this one smells so good. It smells so good. You can smell the chocolate, you can smell the coffee, and you can smell the raspberry. The coffee is the strongest, obviously, but that raspberry is definitely in second place. So good. And this is the one I wanted to get. I wanted the hot cocoa coffee bean raspberry. But I wasn't mad at getting the plain hot cocoa. <laughs> then we got Blonde Moment Pomegranate Rainbow Sherbet. And this lid got a little banged up in transit. And this one smells really good. Like, I think I smell mostly the um, Blonde Moment and Rainbow Sherbet. But on the bottom, I can smell more of the pomegranate. So it smells really, really good. Really, really good. Glad I got that one. Then I have Caramel Apples Blueberry Muffin. You can't go wrong with those two. Putting them together is just obvious. This smells so good. I love her blueberries, seriously. And like the caramel apple, you could smell the apple and it's like a fresh, just bitten into apple. I'd say it's more of a Macintosh or a Red Delicious than a Granny Smith. And you can smell the caramel and the blueberry and then it has that hint of a bakery. Ugh, so good. So good. Then I um, apparently got, I didn't order two, but she gave me two, a blueberry muffin butter brickle pretzel. And it is so good. Like I said, I love her blueberry. And then that butter brickle gives it that caramelliness. And then I don't really smell pretzel at the moment. Let's see what I smell pretzel in this one. No, it's mostly like a blueberry caramel muffin awesomeness, but I'm sure the pretzel's in there. Then we have a zucchini bread ice cream scoop bread bakery bomb, which just sounded too awesome for words, so I had to get that. And it smells really, really good. I smell mostly zucchini bread. I mean, these are all, you know. Yeah, I would say I smell mostly zucchini bread and maybe a little bit of the ice cream scoop bread. Not so much the bakery bomb, because like, that was like a really strong vanilla bakery sweetness. So, and then I did order two Emerald City. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And Emerald City is baked Granny Smith apple pie, top of brown sugar, and a pretzel crust. And that smells so good. I've been wanting to get this since she offered it in the clams, but I didn't have money at the time. And then it kept not coming back. <laughs> or it kept coming back when I had no money. It was like some kind of like race. But it smells so good because you can smell that apple. I'm not sure if it's Granny Smith per se, but it's like a really awesome apple with a little bit of little bit of cinnamon, but like a warm cinnamon. And that sweetness from the brown sugar and the pie crust, the pretzel crust. I mean, it doesn't smell pretzel, but it smells like a thick bakery. And then I got my two scoopables and my little spoonchillas, which are spatulas and spoons, because, you know, cuteness. So I got iced tea pomegranate lemon sugar. And I wanted another pomegranate lemonade from um, Bath and Body Works, but then I was like, well, maybe if I put iced tea in it, because I love her iced tea and um, lemon that I got. So I figured lemon sugar would be good, pomegranate, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I like it. It has a hint of floral at the moment, but I actually went like that on it. So you can see like that little mark. And it was like on my finger for hours, that smell. So that was, it's like really, really strong. And it does smell really good. It smells like iced tea. It has that lemon in it. And I think, I'm not sure if I'm smelling pomegranate or just like this slightly floral pomegranate. But I mean, it smells really good. And I can't wait to melt it. And I can always use some more of my lemon iced tea one. 
because I think it's the pomegranate that's giving it that floral note. And then, of course, I got blueberry muffin lemon poppy seed, which I had my very first or my very second order was this blend, and I didn't melt it until, like, a couple of months ago, so it was, like, over a year old, and it was, holy crap, like, I can't even, it's, like, X-rated, because it was so good. So I need more of it, and I figured a scoopable would be awesome, and, you know, if I got psychotic, I could always mix it with something, but it does not need to be mixed with anything. It is awesome on its own, and this exactly lives up to that. It is super thick blueberry bakery, but it has that lemon, but then the poppy seed is also kind of a bakery. It's just blueberry heaven. Blueberry lemon bakery heaven awesomeness. If I could have gotten like something this size of this, I would have done it in a second. So I am not upset about a single one of these scents. They are all awesome. I mean, even the samples. So... I, I will always highly recommend L3. I love her. She is super generous. If she, she literally, at one point for someone, she forgot these in the bag. And she was going to send them out for free. Just send some scoops. And the girl's like, no, it's okay. I have some scoops. I'm fine. But that's the kind of person she is. So she's a super, super nice vendor. She has a charity clam out there at the moment. So, I suggest if you really like really awesome scents, especially if you're a blueberry fan, I would say go for L3. And thank you so much for watching, and I will definitely be back again because I got a lot of pre-orders out there. So, bye!